chose to be a part of Delta Sigma Theta in 2010, um, and I'll give you the reason why. I first am the only girl in my family, in my immediate family, and on the other hand, my mother has eight sisters and no brothers. And so I've seen firsthand what a true sisterhood is, a blood sisterhood, and how they looked out for each other growing up. I've seen them be supportive, honest, loyal, helpful to each other so that they can grow individually, but also as a unit, as a family. And so growing up, I'd always ask my mom, could I have a sister? And of course, I ended up with brothers. So, um, I'd since longed for a bond, a sisterhood, until I became a part of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. I started doing my research on different sororities in high school, and I found that all sororities are sisterhood, soror meaning, meaning sister in Latin, but the one that really sparked my interest was Delta. Delta stands for more than just a sisterhood. Our mission statement for Delta Sigma Theta is Delta Sigma Theta is a sisterhood of college-educated women committed to the constructive development of its members and to public service with the primary focus on the black community. I chose Delta because that's what I believe in, helping others in my community, giving my best in all that I do, excelling in the classroom, and making a difference in the lives of others. We, as Delta Sigma Theta, are dedicated to scholarship, sisterhood, and service. Scholarship means, like I said, we excel in the classroom, and not just the bare minimum. And I'm going to brag on the Upsilon Iota chapter for real quick. Um, but we have the highest GPA on campus as a sorority. Also, also um, in 2012, at our graduation, my sister, my five, um, Allegra Robinson, was the valedictorian with a 4.0 GPA. So. There is no exaggeration when I say that we top in our classes and we stand out with our efforts. Um, sisterhood means we work together as a whole. Over 200,000 of our illustrious sorority members all work together towards the same goals of helping the community, doing good in the classroom, and working together to stand apart from the rest. Service means community work, not just once a year, but constantly an ongoing effort. So food banks feeding the homeless, awarding scholarships to students who are deserving of them, voter registration, mentoring programs that we have, such as the Dr. Betty Shabazz Academy, Delta Gems, um, reading to elementary school kids, mentoring, awareness forms. I mean, the list goes on and on and on of all the programs that we do. Um, a quote that I found is actually from Kenneth Blanchard, which is an American author, and he is also um, a group member of the Phi Gamma Delta fraternity. He once said that there's a difference between interest and commitment. Um, when you're interested in something, you do it only when it's convenient. But when you're committed to something, you accept no excuses, only results. And so I'm Greek, and it's my commitment, my lifetime commitment, to be dedicated to the three things that were deciding, my deciding factors on April 2nd, 2010, to become a member of the Upsilon Iota chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, Sisterhood Scholarship and Service. Whose birthday did we celebrate on Monday? Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., President Ronald Reagan, Olympian Jesse Owens, great names in American history that you'd have a difficult time putting together unless you know that they and many, many thousands of other great leaders in our history share a common bond of brotherhood and sisterhood by being Greek. I hope that you're going to choose to be great in your life. I hope you're going to choose to be a leader in your society. In doing that, I hope that you seriously consider becoming a member of a Greek letter organization. I chose Janae and Kendall because they're living examples of success 
at our university because they're Greek. Not because of the particular organization they represent, because all of these organizations share the bonds in greatness. But they are successful in their lives. You're going to be the one that determines whether you're personally successful or not. But I can guarantee you, my friends, that if you choose to affiliate with one of our Greek letter organizations, these men and women are going to assist you in attaining personal greatness. Now, you can choose any one. I personally am not Greek, although I've spent my entire adult life promoting Greek letter organizations. Any one of these organizations is going to help you attain your goals in life. You're the one who's going to decide what one you're interested in. And there's a very clear path to joining a Greek letter organization on our campus. I strongly encourage you to read your emails. Beginning this week, there are our Greek letter organizations are holding uh, membership education opportunities and, and it's up to you to seek them out. In a few minutes we're going to adjourn and all of these men and women are going to stay up front so that if you have questions you can come up and ask those questions and have them answered. But first we're going to run through our Greek letter organizations and so our first Greek letter organization was founded at Chowan uh, it'll be 13 years in just a couple of months, and that is AST, or Alpha Sigma Ta, and they are, uh, ladies of AST, where are you? Raise your hands, there we go, ladies of AST. They, they were the lone Greek organization for a number of years on campus, and they, they are the pioneers of Greek letter organizations at Chowan. The next organization to be founded at Chowan, you just heard about, D Delta Sigma Theta. Great organization, I'm sorry, I can't say great organization and not include everybody. They're all great organizations. <laughs> the next one that was founded on our, on our campus, and you'll hear the, the name Q often referred to. And I can't do it because you guys would get really mad at me. But if you guys, if anybody watches the Super Bowl, you're going to see somebody score a touchdown. And when they score a touchdown, what are they going to do, Calvin? <laughs> Those are the cues, all right? All right. The next organization that was founded was Kappa Alpha Psi, all right? And this handsome man in this red sweater to my, almost my far left, is Mitch Radford. You all know him as the guy you have to pay money to. Uh, but the Kappas, the Kappas are known for their for their canes and and uh, and they step. I can't say anything. I'm sorry, you guys. Next, <laughs> Zeta Phi Beta. The women of Zeta Phi Beta. Where are your ladies? Raise your hands. They they are small in numbers at this point, but they are a mighty organization and. Alpha Phi Alpha, and I, I've got it, I've got it, yeah, did I say something wrong? No, I heard you guys talking, wait, did I say something wrong? No. Alpha, alpha Phi Alpha, um, oh, I should, I, I need to back up, the CAP has just got their charter. Um, Trust me, 
I have been doing this business for 33 years. That's as old as some of your parents, all right? I have seen for 33 years the route of success through Greek letter organization. I cannot recommend it strongly enough to you that you affiliate with a Greek letter organization because I desperately want you to graduate. And again, more than, look here, more than three times as likely, these men and women are more than three times as likely to graduate from CU than the student that was here on Monday applying for a scholarship. Invest in your future, invest in brotherhood or sisterhood, find out what it takes to be Greek at CU. Thank you very much. God bless. There's another sorority that I can't mention. <laughs> that may come on campus in the near future. But I can't talk about it. But Let me see it. Oh, big head. Big head. Watch out. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, yeah. AST, let me see you, ladies. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. hey. everybody. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Love y'all. Y'all so great. Y'all so great. Look at y'all. Love y'all guys. Love you guys. Jordan, Chi Chi, Jerry, all y'all. Oh, everybody. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Love y'all. Love y'all. Y'all so great. Y'all so great. Just love y'all. Hey, hey, how y'all doing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm out.